masonry design a calculation shows that the cavity wall's capacity with regard to buckling is far from satisfying. The load is 212 and the capacity is only 74 kilonewton per meter. Something has to be done and we will try to strengthen the load bearing wall with vertical reinforcement. To be able to use vertical reinforcement special blocks with hole channels has to be used. The reinforcement will be placed in these channels before the holes are filled with concrete. Under material reinforcement we choose for the vertical reinforcement bar quality KS600. Under reinforcement details we choose vertical reinforcement and Define that the masonry is vertically reinforced. The diameter we choose to 10 mm. Uh, we choose to have reinforcement only in one of the channels in the block and we select two bars in each hole. The distance between reinforced bricks are 500 mm, which means that the Total reinforcement area is 314 square millimeters per meter. The height and length of each hole channel is 100 millimeters. And the concrete have a compression, compression strength of 25 megapascal. We make a new calculation and now check the result on the vertical reinforced masonry. And we see that uh, the capacity has increased a lot but it's still not adequate. And uh, we will further increase the reinforcement. Under reinforcement details we choose in this case reinforcement in both channels which means a total reinforcement area of 600 square millimeter per meter and we make a new calculation and check the result and now with this reinforcement we see that the capacity is adequate for the wall this reinforcement is also shown graphically